Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Date Reference 18238 36 millimeters and 18 karat yellow gold with yellow gold president bracelet. You can see this Rolex Day Date on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it at watchyouwant.com if you like. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters. This is going to be a familiar face to those of you who watch these videos on a regular basis because the 12 millimeter thick, 44 millimeter lug to lug, 36 millimeter Rolex day date is something of a perennial. It's an evergreen design that always looks the part on wrists of any size, quite honestly. Although 36 millimeters, the traditional broad span and integrated end pieces of a Rolex oyster case and bracelet represent uh, something of an aesthetic standard that plays a lot bigger than the physical dimensions. Now, of course, when you have the oyster bracelets, you have a familiar three-link design that's more utilitarian than the three-link design of the legendary president. But for many, the day date and the president bracelet are forever linked, an inextricable single concept. And together, they just feel right. They are right. And they must be together to be right. You can see it's a very supple bracelet in that the individual links, far smaller than the oyster, but far more robust than the Jubilee, give the president a distinctive look and also a silky feeling on the wrist. Now, on the underside, it's beautifully finished with just enough channel between the individual links to avoid pulling skin, pinching skin, pulling hair. And from an aesthetic standpoint, it succeeds because it's seamless. Now, the crown clasp features the five-point Rolex coronet as the break point. This is one of the classical tricks that's always associated with the President bracelet, and it's something fans of the type simply love. It's elegant, seamless, and the only point to distinguish the pivot and the parting is that crown. Hence, we call it the crown clasp on the President bracelet. But what sets this particular President apart is not the bracelet, which is everything you'd expect of the President, or the case, which is iconic, but it is the dial. It's this tapestry dial in beautiful yellow gold, matched by yellow gold indices and hands. It is also an original tritium dial, this being a T-series Rolex Day Date. So it is one of the original tritium dials, uh, roughly 1998, and the A-series was the cutoff for tritium. So you have that gorgeous patina outboard of the individual hour indices, as well as on the hands. And the fade of the tritium actually makes it more consonant with the gold of the dial over time. Now, this one is what's known as a tapestry dial, so-called because it appears to be a vertically hanging tapestry, as you would find in a medieval manor or castle. Now, this one's also a double quick set. This was an innovation that came along with the five-digit reference of 1988. The 18238 that we have right here features a caliber 325 or 3155, excuse me that allows you to independently set the date and the day with a rapid cycle that makes it easy to quickly find the day and the date and correct them without spinning the hands indefinitely. That was one of the functional Achilles heels of the original day dates, but circa 1988 with the arrival of the double quick set and the 3155, that hunting was old news basically consigned to the vintage scene. Now, 12 millimeters thick with a wonderfully sloped fluted bezel. This is an easy watch to fit under a dress cuff, even though, again, at 12, it's not an ultra thin by any means. What it is, however, is remarkably well proportioned. The watch carries a tremendous amount of precious metal mass on the wrist. And I can't overemphasize that for a 36 millimeter watch, eyes closed, it really feels like a heck of a lot more. And that's one of the simple pleasures of wearing a full gold Rolex. They're never going to be overwhelming in their size. Rolex hues pretty closely to its traditional case sizes. If you want to get truly huge, yes, there is the Yachtmaster 2, but that's more of a, an island rather than the body of the fleet, so to speak. This is a watch that is time-tested in its style, in its proportions, in its details. And yet, with the definition and character added by the tapestry dial and the functional ease of the double quick set, as well as that gorgeous, now discontinued tritium dial with classic patina, it does bring something a little bit unique to the table that sets it apart from the many other Rolex day dates out there. That's why I really enjoy this particular watch. I feel that yellow gold is coming back, and if you've been watching trends on the market lately, most notably Audemars Piguet's debut of a new perpetual calendar Royal Oak with 18 karat yellow gold, I think this is a look 
not just of the past, but of the future. So, although it is the president, you can check out the once and future king of luxury watches in 18 karat yellow gold on our website, watchyouwant.com.